Well, you know, at the beginning of each season, everybody's excited. I think for us, though, this is sort of like a changing of the guard, and we've got guys who, the, 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 our previous guys who had lost a lot of games are, are now graduated, and we've got a group of guys who are used to winning a lot of games and used to playing hard and used to being focused, and uh, they've shown that focus early on here in the workouts. Uh, in their individual workouts in the spring and then uh, over the summer they did a terrific job so there's a lot of excitement just based on the focus of this group well you know I don't think I'm telling tales out of school by saying that we'll, we, we've got the ability now with our athleticism and a little bit more length to play uh, more man-to-man -man than we did last year uh, so I'm looking forward to, to coaching that and then on the offensive end we'd like to we'd like to speed it up a little bit and uh, again because of our athleticism because of our depth I think we can we can try some things that we haven't done in the past you know as we're starting to find out from a, as from a from a coaching staff perspective this team really cares about each other they're competitive with each other but their focus is on winning games and not individual success so um, if there is any kind of pressure because these guys are more talented, it, it's solely on my shoulders. I got to manage that. And I think that in order to win tough games, whether whether it be in your own gym or on the road, neutral court, whatever, in tournaments, uh, you have to have a you have to get an A grade in chemistry. If you get you get in a C in chemistry, you're going to lose those close games. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see if we can make this chemistry. Um, extrapolate into wins of games that we shouldn't lose. Is that one of the biggest differences this season, you think, from, well, from last year to this year? I'm hoping so because, you know, last year, the year before, when I, the first three years I was here, a lot of the games that we lost early were games we should have won or were expected to win. Uh, but that's part of the maturation process. And so I'm hoping that this team's mature enough to handle the fact that we need to win the games that we have to win, especially here at Gill. Expectations-wise, you would even throw out NCAA tournament. Is that that's the goal? Oh yeah, I mean we want we're we're setting this program up to be a program that's like everybody else in the country. Our goal is to make the NCAA tournament. That's what we're trying to do, um, and we know that that's putting pressure on us. We, we and and we talked about earlier. We know that you know not having an NBA season, there are more eyes on us. You know. Um, we would like to help the school in other areas. Uh, you know, football's not doing as well as they have done since I've been here. We want to pick up some of that slack for them, and that's pressure. Uh, but we're, how we're handling it, we're being becoming a more focused team. We've been putting in a lot of work, and we know what we need to do next year, and that's what we're just going to try to take care of business. Well, just from, from a drill-to-drill -drill standpoint, I mean, we take every drill seriously. Mm -hmm. Whether it's three minutes or ten minutes, we're going hard the whole three minutes or the ten minutes. I mean, we're taking everything extremely serious, and we're knowing that we're, we're, what Coach has been preaching to us, everything matters. We're taking that. Mm -hmm. we're, we're using that. How do you feel about the chemistry this year? Um, I mean, no disrespect to the guys that were here last year, but, I mean, Robinson said if – you guys were a C last year on chemistry. You're an A this year. Yeah. Do you agree with that? I, I most definitely agree, and and that 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 kind of bleeds into the hard work mm -hmm. that we're putting in. I mean, if we're out there getting extra shots and and holding each other accountable, the chemistry is just getting is going to keep getting better. Mm -hmm. And I think it still can get better. I, we're not we're not perfect right now, but coach is trying to make it so that we are. I think everything's going to improve from from the low post to, to the guard play. I think everybody's working harder and it, I mean if you look at Joe Burton now he's he's in a in great shape now and, and Angus Brandt I mean playing overseas like he did and Kevin McShane's out there he's the leader of the team he's holding everybody accountable and working harder than, than ever too so it's going to be it's going to be hard we have a lot of we have a lot of uh, different players that do a lot of different things and I think it'll be hard to stop us. And my take is that this team is unlike any other Beaver team that's been around, I want to say, in the last you know, two decades. You know, it's, yeah, they've had some great success amongst you know, some, some unsuccessful years, but, but the whole feeling that we have as a team from, from the players, the coaches, the trainers, uh, people over in the, in the, in the strength room, uh, everything is just is different. It's just a great feeling, and, and it's going to be a great year to come out and support us. I've had a lot of summer jobs and saved up a lot of money because I wasn't sure how the, the scholarship thing was going to play out. Um, but having the, the scholarship, be able to pick up that check on the first of the month with my teammates is a great feeling.
it's, it's like Coach is saying, you know, it's you got to get your nose down the dirt and play some defense. And it's more responsibility, more accountability, and it's, it's a little bit easier to, to find a box out. But um, I think everyone else on the team is in agreement with me that we're looking forward to playing some man defense. You know, last year there were some games where we were in zone defense and teams were just lighting us up from the three-point land, but we couldn't really do anything about it because we couldn't play man, so we just kind of had to, you know, change up the zone a little bit. But now if there's a team that's shooting, shoot, we can play man-to-man -man all game and, and stop those threes. The key word seems to be chemistry. Not chemistry. chemistry. Yeah, definitely. Um, we're, we're always together on and off the court. Um, we get along with each other real well. And uh, on the court, you know, we just like a family. We, everybody wants to win, and we just ready to get the season started. Oh! For you, what, what are you looking for? Uh, it's overall leadership, and and just to be a, a vocal leader out there on the court, and just help help the younger guys out. We bring two more teams into the Pac-10 or Pac-12, actually now. And uh, you know, it just it gets um, everybody more fired up. You know, we got to take two more games down in Utah and Colorado. You know, nobody's really ever played down there, so it's gonna be something new for all of us. Last season, not the best. So, I mean, you know, what are you looking for? What would be a mark improvement? Mark improvement is just uh, come out every day and just want to win. You know, just play hard to the end of the game and not let a team get up on us uh, early in the game. You are pretty uh, electrifying player last year. Uh, I mean, are we going to expect bigger things from you this season? Yes. Yes. Um, my teammates believe in me a lot, so, you know, they're going to throw the extra pass and then maybe some couple alley-oops. And, uh, you know, if I can get a steal and break, I'm going up and dunking every time.